Hi, so this is Nicholas, and I'm just going to give you a quick demo of a Python editor that I've created this afternoon based on some work created by Dan Pope and based on a spike that I created yesterday afternoon. Um, and the intention behind this is that we create a very simple code editor that kids could use to write Python. Um, so as you can see, I have uh, used nice big bold icons at the top for the various uh, interactions. So here uh, for creating new uh, Python scripts and opening and saving things. Um, run obviously will run your Python script. Build is interesting because what I would like um, to do is when you click build, uh, it would create a hex file that you can then drag onto the micro bit were you to be programming for the micro bit. And then carry on's favorite zoom in, zoom out uh, and help. Uh, icons going on here. Um, the actual text editor itself is based on Scintilla and I've managed to get quite a nice sort of uh, Python syntax highlighting going on here so I can do things like whoops this unfortunately auto indent doesn't appear to work at the moment even though it is set and the object tells me that it's set as auto indent sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and I'm not quite figured out why um, so I can do things like whoops hello World, there we go, that's the classic. And let's put some comments in here. Oops. Uh, this is a silly function. It is, most definitely. Uh, the other interesting thing is that uh, the entirety of this editor is based um, on a, uh, a single file that's only 300 lines of Python long. Um, and I've also, well, currently 300 lines of Python. It's likely to grow because none of the icons are plugged into anything yet. Um, so they don't actually do anything if you click them. Uh, but it should be a less than a thousand lines of code, I estimate, uh, to get this sort of thing working in a single file. Um, so one would hope that kids could actually have a look at the code for the puppy um, editor, which is what Dan's called this, um, and edit puppy in puppy, if you see what I mean. Um, so that's it. Happy to answer any questions.